I've seen the 4090 in a case and oh my gosh, you're you're not ready for it. Also, I wasn't ready until talking about their XCSS super sampling and you ready for B650 day from AMD? Let's get into the hot news, everybody. I'm your Brett host. We're going to be going over the hottest tech news that I can find on the internet while you enjoy your breakfast. And today we're going to unveil the, something that somebody else unveiled, Lenovo, notorious for leaks when it comes to GPUs along the years. If you don't remember back in 20. 18, 2019, they, they leaked the GTX 1160. Still trust them wholeheartedly to this day, but we have some details and pictures of the RTX 4090 being in their Legion PC. You ready for it? Look at that. That is huge. That is big. That is four slots. Kyler, you ever had four slots taken up of you? Interestingly enough, yes. He has four whole slots on that Lenovo Legion GPU. RTX 4090, you can see it barely fits in the case. That's a person's finger that is shorter than the width of this card. It only takes one 16 pin. It's not gonna require a whole host of them, but this is a thick GPU and we can tell that this is likely an official picture because that 4090 font right there is very similar to the font that we've been seeing on the Founders Edition, that MSI card that leaked, as well as the Gigabyte card that leaked, or Zotac card, it wasn't MSI, my bad. But there is the thick, four slot 49 that is just it's so big but that's not the only thing that should scare you because we also have internal pictures of what the cooler is gonna look like kyler guess how many heat pipes it has uh, uh, one. 13 that look at how many that is not you the people watching hot news that is a lot of i don't think i've ever seen that many heat pipes on anything what's the most amount of heat pipes you've seen like one come look come look at the 13 then okay that looks like one, right? Bam, 13 heat pipes. And you're gonna need all of that because now we have more details coming from video cards on what the thermal processing power is gonna be of these fat boys, and it's it's a lot. So according to their sources, the RTX 4090's default TGP is gonna be 450, but it can go up to 660, depending on the bio set and the custom model from the AIB partners and whether or not they wanna give you a 13 heat pipe custom cooler. Holy crap. Anyways, the RTX 4080 16 gig, and according to preliminary reports, there's a 16 gig and a 12 gig of the RTX 4080. Whether or not those end up being called something different, RTX 4080 Ti, Ti, whatever you wanna do it. The 4080 16 gig's gonna go up to 516 watts at 340 default. And then the 4080 12 gig is gonna go up to 366 watts max with 285 default. So a little bit lower, a little bit calmer, a little bit better on that 4080 12 gig. That's probably what you could use. For, for the people who uh, don't care about their air conditioning bill, the people who don't care about GPU sag, the people who don't care about having to buy a brand new power supply at over 1200 watts, the RTX 4090 is gonna suckle on all of your juice. Don't worry about it. And I just wanna know, how did your brain suckle all that information? Does this does this get appealing to you, that 4090, 13 heat pipes? Do you need a heater in the winter any longer? You just play video games, right? Let me know what you think of this next gen from NVIDIA. Oh my goodness. And I'm gonna let you know about today's video sponsor, ASRock, because they are launching a brand new monitor today. It's their 27 inch 1080p, 165 hertz monitor. It's part of their Phantom Gaming line and the spec sheet doesn't stop there. It's IPS, one millisecond mean re pixel response time, 94% of the DCI-P3 color space. AMD FreeSync Premium, it's got swivel tilt adjustment, flicker free technology, two HDMI ports, a display port 1.2 port. It's a great 1080p monitor for you to check out. Again, it's ASRock's brand new monitor, the PG27FF1A. You can check it out at the link in the video description. We're gonna have a video coming out shortly later on about the actual monitor. We're gonna be incorporating into a PC build setup, so stay tuned for that. But big thanks to ASRock for sponsoring today's video. In case you're looking for a 1080p monitor at 165 hertz, check it out at the link in the video description. And Digital Foundry got to check out Intel's XESS setup, which you could potentially use on ASRock's new monitor, but they got to test the XESS with Shadow of the Tomb Raider, just one single game, seeing how the machine learning upscaling works on the ARC A770 GPU. What they found is that that 720p, no anti-aliasing to 1440p upscale was only 6.5 milliseconds, but then if you add in the zest to that, it only adds two milliseconds of performance, which gives you a lot better quality at very little penalty.
royalty. So be sure to check out the entire Digital Foundry video, which is down below in the video description. But it does look like XCSS is a pretty decent machine learning setup. It's comparable to DLSS in a lot of ways, as well as FSR 2.0. You should check it out for the full details, but it does look like Intel actually has a decent handle on what XESS is going to be bringing to the table with support for not only their own GPUs, but also AMD and Nvidia GPUs as well. And I'm here to support the crypto stonks market by talking about it. Let's go over the numbers. Bitcoin, it's down a little bit more today, down to 1997999. Yeah, just that 99 cents was for your comfort. So it's not 19980. Having a rough day, having a rough week, just continuing to slide down from its peak of roughly $22,500 earlier this week. Ethereum also down half a percent to 1597. And allegedly today is the merger day. I, don't know if anything's happened with regards to that as far as crypto pricing or anything, because I am recording this in the past and Dogecoin in the past up 1.4% to be at just over six cents. And Reese is in the future because he's in South Africa, which is six hours ahead of me. So Reese, what did the future hold for the UFD deal? Hey everyone, welcome back to UFD deals. We bring you the hottest tech deals out on the internet. I'm Reese, I'm a real person, and this is a real deal in the form of the Thermaltake Tough Liquid 360 ARGB CPU liquid cooler. The big beefy 360 millimeter radiator version is currently going for only $133, which is $56.99 or 30% off. And don't forget, you can find this deal and more linked in the video description. I'm about to zoom out of here. Cheers. Woo. Thank you, Reese. I will not appreciate any more Rocco Mama slander. It was inappropriate that you brought it up like that yesterday. And I, I don't know if this is inappropriate, but certainly weird in my book. Zoom is getting ready to launch their own email and calendar apps. Zmail and Zcal allegedly going to be coming out later this year in November because Zoom wants to just be an entire productivity setup as opposed to just a face-to-face -face meeting setup that was great during the pandemic and we're still technically in the pandemic, but regardless, they, they want to be the whole host of suite of things to offer to you. Whether or not you're going to use this, you tell me. Are you still using Zoom? Was Zoom your company's go-to meeting of choice, or did you use something else like Google Meets or Microsoft Teams, something like that? Let me know what you did for the remote interfacing down below in those comments, and I'm going to let you know. Okay, I'm very excited for God of War Ragnarok, my most anticipated game of many, many generations. I really love the 2018 version. I really have been looking forward to the sequel for quite some time. And we got the Sony State of Play a couple days ago showing off the new controller that's going to be going for God of War Ragnarok. And they made it seem like that was the end of the State of Play. And then they hit us with the story trailer, which I absolutely love. I'm not going to spoil it for you in case you don't want to have it spoiled, but you can check it out at the link in the video description. This just has me more excited. It shows a more diverse amount of enemies, shows the story going places that I am very, very excited for. I just, I, I trust Sony Santa Monica Studios with my life right now and my heart. They have it on a plate. I will buy it so hard. Actually, I haven't even pre-ordered it. I should probably pre-order it. Should I? I'm going to play it regardless of whether or not people say it sucks. So, I don't know. What do you feel about pre-ordering games? Answer that down below in the comments because my mind is I pre-order when I know I want to play it regardless of what other people think of it. And it doesn't really affect me whether or not people think it sucks. But in case you want to play games on Xbox on your PC, well, Microsoft's updating their Xbox app to include How Long to Beat integration, which is a website that tells you how long it takes to, to beat video games like Stray it takes five hours in case you want to play the main story, etc. That's going to be baked into the Xbox app. But in case you don't want to use that, they're also coming out with performance improvements like it's going to launch 15% faster and 20% faster search Xbox app, getting more versatile all around. And versatile is what I'm gonna call AMD with their B650 motherboards. Why? Because it was a good segue. That's why the B650 and 650E allegedly, according to reports, are going to be announced on October 4th. They've already been announced, but those are supposed to be the announcement of the retail dates where you can find out more about the B650 and B650E motherboards and when you'll be able to buy them and the pricing and all that kind of stuff, which based on my X670 and X670E, not going to be cheap. But in case you need a refresher on what the difference is between B650, 650E, X670, and X670E is, you can check out this chart right here. Essentially, it comes down to whether or not it has PCI Express 5.0 GPU lanes or SSD lanes, or both. And I'm going to both on out of here. I'm bad at this one today. I'll see you back here for more hot tech news to close out the week tomorrow.